Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we took care of almost all the star pieces. We got a... We honestly just finished up the Koopa Koot side quest and beat the... The, uh... Not the final boss, the ultra boss, or I guess the best, the strongest enemy in the game. And now I'm here grabbing this. I swear I've got this. I swear I've got this on footage even, but I guess that must have been a failed recording or something. Because this is the final star piece. Grabbing that letter, bring it to Morty, uh, Morty Goomba? Not Goomba. Toad? Morty. I, I don't know what to call him. And I went down the wrong path. I was trying to turn back. I blame this game, it's not my fault. But, uh, yeah, that's the final star piece. And I swear I got this. I swear I did this like five episodes ago. But apparently I didn't. And that sucks for me because I just spent forever trying to figure out where this stupid thing was. Until I finally realized that it had to be one of the, uh, freaking letters or else, you know, I would have uh, been able to talk to More Lovely about it. More Lovely does not tell you if it's something that a person holds. AKA if it's something that Koopa Koot has, if it's something that, uh, you need to trade an item for, like with Colorado and that one artifact. If it's something, like, you need to trade a letter for, things like that. Now, if you come in here with Paracarry... You're Monty, correct? The name is Paracarry. I don't have any letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter to we deliver. A postman's job is never done. A letter for me? Oh, it's for my wife. How sweet. I love her so. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine, she's so cute, she makes me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? And you got a star piece. Not only a star piece, but the final star piece in the game for me. 79 star pieces on me. I've already spent something like 81, I think? Something like that. 81 star pieces. So, I'm gonna meet you guys at Shooting Star Summit. Alright, now it's time to buy badges. So the first badge is going to be HP Drain. I'm going to exchange HP Drain for 15 star pieces. Alright, HP Drain will lower your attack by one, but give you health every time you attack. Flower Finder. Get you more flowers after battles, which honestly is useful if you're using a lot of FP. Heart Finder, same thing but with hearts. Peekaboo lets you see all enemies' HP without tattling them. Extremely useful if you're not going for tattling all the enemies, which I pretty much am. Happy Flower. Recover flower points every turn, which I think I already have one of each. Happy Heart. Same thing with hearts. Feeling Fine protects Mario from poisoning and dizziness. Extremely useful against those stats effect enemies. I would suggest that right around J Jungle, I think. Pretty lucky. Makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while. I wonder if we have a badge like that. Chill out. Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. Extremely useful if you're not very good at dodging enemies or getting uh, first strikes on them. And the final badge. Payoff. The more damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. Good for if you're grinding against strong enemies, like in uh, Shiver Fields, I think that's what they're called. Alright, these star pieces really help round out my collection. Please come back and swap some more with me sometime. And with that, we are finally done. I'll meet you guys back at Mario's house to show off my final stats. Now, if you come up here and get on this cloud right here, it acts as an elevator to bring you up. I swear I did this like an episode or two ago. I'm gonna have to check the footage, but am I really having to redo recordings this much that this is happening to me? Super jump charge. I swear I'd already gotten this, but you know? Yeah, it's just up here on the cloudy climb, so I'm gonna head back down and now I'm done and ready to head to the final area of the game. Or at least I would be if there wasn't something I hadn't done yet. So if you head all the way over here, and you just hit this tree right here, then it will pop up with this pipe. You head down this pipe, and you find this cool little room down here. 
Hello there, Mario, and welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe up here that will lead down to both the jump attack and smash attack force. I should mention I haven't played these games in years, so I have no idea how to play these anymore. Alright. Greetings, my good man! This is the floor for jump attack! Give me a second, I'll explain the rules for you. Eleven blocks will appear in the air. When you hit one, a panel will come out of it. There are four kinds of panels. The number of coins you get depending on the order you hit the panels in. This is a one coin panel will give you one coin. This is a five coin. This is a five times panel. This is a Bowser panel. If you find this panel, you're unfortunately it's game over. If you clear this nine block option as a special bonus, your coins will be doubled. The rules are written on that board over there. Alright, so this is kind of, uh, jump, attack, five coins, five coins, five times, Bowser. Oops, bummer, game over. Too bad, better luck next time. So, uh, that's basically how this game works. Sure. Nine blocks. Ready to jump! Dang it, Bowser. Ah, that sucks. Alright, and that's this game. I just want to show that off and now I am done with it. How do I get out of here? Maybe I have to talk to the toad? Can't play the game without enough coins. Thank you, now that you kicked me out. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. I just went to the shop, sold some items, also made a few things and tastiest thing to use in the final area. Alright. Hello, Mario, this is the floor for Smash Attacks. Let me explain the rules to you, okay? When the game starts, blocks will appear along the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You'll clear the game if you get ten of these peach panels before time runs out. If you hit a block where a fuzzy or a bomb is hiding, it'll slow you down a bit. The time limit is 30 seconds. You need ten coins to play. Would you like to play? Sure. Get set to Smash Attack! Come on, I'm close. I didn't do it. Dang it. I had one more. Yeah, that's basically the premise of this game. I'm going to play it once or twice more just because I feel like playing it before going into the final area. Get set to smash! Attack! Wow, they're all in this area. Come on. Yes, did it. I'm the best. Game over. Game cleared. The remaining time is 4.7. So, well, you get 47 coins. Please come again. So you get 10 coins per second. That's amazing. Um, I will not be playing this again. Just because I actually want to see if I can win at the other one. But... I have a feeling like I could actually win at that one. I've forgotten how that one works. But let's see about winning at this one real quick. The five walk option, get ready to jump. Attack. Oh, that was quick. Get ready for the nine walk option. Jump. Attack. Okay. Get ready to jump attack! Give me a second there. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done.
I'm not gonna play anymore. <laughs> that was bad enough. <laughs> so you get how the games work now. It's just a cool little mini game that you can use to earn money. I don't use it very often because I'm not good at it. I just showed you some of the items I made. Dang it. But I'm gonna be going on to the final area of the game now. Also, since I might as well show it now. I have the Healthy Juice, 40 FP, the Yoshi Cookie, 15 HP, 15 FP, not that good, but honestly, it's, it's too cute. Whack is bump, 25 HP, 25 FP, that's pretty good. Joy Pop, 64 FP, I mean, 50 HP, 50 FP, 10 HP, 50 FP, 50 HP, 50 FP, 50 HP, 5 FP, 5 HP, 50 FP, 64 H, uh, FP, I mean. So, those are all the items I'm carrying with me. They're all recovery items, and I'm gonna use them to totally curb stomp everything in the game. I also should real quick readjust my badges. Just a moment. Alright, now to show off my badges as I have them equipped. Oops. I have Power Bounce, Group Focus, Dodge Master, Power Plus, Power Plus, Defend Plus, Damage Dodge, Damage Dodge, and all the Attack FX badges on. So with that, we're heading into the final area of the game, after I heal up. Be right back. Now, if you come up here to the top of Shooting Star Summit... Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Entering this path without fear, the Starway continues all the way up here to Star Haven. We seven Star Spirits will be waiting for you here. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you'll be able to stand up to the Star Rock Bowser Holds. Just like that? We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Star Haven. So guys, I should mention one thing. Well, I did show off my uh, stats earlier for the game. You're supposed to have all but one badge at this point in the game, which is why I went and grabbed the one on the... Uh, Quality Klein that I thought Ari had. There's only one badge in this area of the game. And we're not going to get to it for a little bit. So the rest of them, let's get on to the enemies now. I didn't prepare for this. Alright. I did not prepare for this at all. Alright, just a second. Got rid of them all. I know it didn't give me star points or anything, but I need to re-equip my badges a little bit. What I need to do is, I need to go in my badges, take off group focus, I think. That should be enough. In addition to that, I'm going to take off one of the damage dodges and put on an ice power. Just for this area, since I think there are a few embers that we're going to have to face. There's another. We're going to pull out Goombario. Gotcha. Ten damage in one hit, and he's dead. Only one freaking star point for each kill. This is an ember. Embers are fiery monsters forged from uncanny blue fire. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They may look frosty, but they're actually on fire, so fire attacks don't work. They divide themselves when they're attacked. Keep attacking them, though, you'll get them eventually. They'll probably fight back. Their attacks usually deal at 3 points of damage. Water attacks work well once we beat them before they get a chance to burn us. So it's just when you use sushi, or you can just do my strategy. Boy, wreck them. Now you understand? And dead. Honestly, it's not hard to kill them. You just need to be persistent or use uh, uh, Sushi's tidal wave ability. Either one will work. I don't know why I'm grabbing coins. I guess I just feel bad about leaving them there. So I'm gonna grab them anyway. <laughs> no coin left behind! Listen to the music here.
remind you of anything? Maybe the end slate of my videos? Maybe. <laughs> I love this music, by the way. So, I showed off those enemies. It's not a problem. Now we're done with that. Good afternoon, or evening, maybe. In Starhaven, you can see the stars all the time. There used to be a lot more shooting stars, but that was before the Star Rod was taken. The beauty of this place was incredible back then. When I first heard that all the star spirits were capturing the star rod of stolen, I lost it. I figured this is it. This is the end of the world. But now all the star spirits have re safely returned. It just goes to show you never give up hope. Except you did give up hope. You just flat out gave up on everything. When the news first hit that the star spirits had been taken away, a friend of mine was so shocked that he got sick. His shining light faded way down to a mere flickle. Flicker. Yeah. When. Since the star spirits have come back, he's regained a healthy glow. You're a lightsaber, Mario. I see what they did there. <laughs> Our precious star spirits have returned. Oh, happy day! It's all because of you. I guess we'll all wish upon a Mario from now on. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here's a toad house. Even though it's not a toad house, it's a star spirit house. <laughs> Hello. Need a little rest? I do not, actually. I don't actually care that I'm a little bit low on FP. I don't remember. Is there anything up here worth showing? I'm gonna check all the same. This is the final area of the game, and I have not practiced it in the slightest. Yes, there is. Up here, there is a shop that sells timeouts, uh, pretty much all the good items you'll need at this point in the game. I'm not gonna be buying any since I already have items to use, and they don't exact. Those ones don't exactly fit my style. But if you come in here. It gives me great joy to hear the star spirits return. Our only wish is our only wish now is for the st return of the star rod. It seems so odd to start making a wish. Yeah, a little bit, dude. <laughs> All right. Apparently, you can't just walk off the edge there for some reason. Apparently, that's not allowed. You have to go all the way around. But seriously, now I've showed off all what they say, so I can come in here and do this. Hmm. Here we are. Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. All seven men work together to give me the power. Star Beam. If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah yes, one more thing, I have one final gift which should come in handy. With this, he gives us a cradle. And by cradle, I mean a spaceship. To be fair, it did look at the cradle when he was making. This is a legendary starship of Starhaven. Mario is keep Mario Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard onto Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Except after this game, we can no longer use those powers because that would be too OP with the powers we get in the next game. Are you ready to take off? Yes, we are. With this, I don't think you can return, so this might be a point of no return. Uh, we'll be able to see that in just a minute. But I, if my memory serves, you can't return after this one, so make sure you have everything you want and or need. Also, I like the little shadow. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true. <laughs> Me too, heart. Everyone is in love with Peach. I mean, really. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake. Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes. Pretty please. Freaking kid. What? This um, the national emergency, and you're worried about shroom cake. Seriously, man. <sighs> I guess the glory of being a child, right? <laughs> so, for some reason, we fly into Bowser's castle's mouth instead of, you know, Peach's castle's window or something. A star powered showdown. 
chapter 8. That was all in between chapter 7 and 8, the last few episodes I've been. <laughs> Alright. Actually. Are you ready to take off? No, we're not. Apparently you can go back. I was mistaken. So, just for, you know, saving's sake, 